Hi, I'm John from Pabo Themes, and today we'll introduce you to the best layout builder for OpenCart 2.0. A layout is built from content blocks, and each content block contains rows and columns, and the content in those rows and columns are assigned from widgets. Let's get started. From your OpenCart 2.0 backend, access extensions, and then modules. Let's scroll down and here we'll find the Pavo Homepage Builder module. Hit the edit button and then we're redirected to the working panel of the module. Now we're going to show you how easy it is to build a layout and to do it in just a matter of minutes. These are all created layouts and you can use them or create new ones. Let's hit the button to add a new layout. And here we'll add the layout title and a class to style the layout. That's great. Now we simply hit the button to add the block in the layout. Hovering over the block you'll see all of the available options. Let's edit some block settings. Here we have the class style for the block, a background color, and an image background setting which we can set to show in full width or not. And you can also set a style for the background image and its position. We can enable the parallax style. Add a margin and padding. And select the row style. And then save the settings. Now let's hit the button to add a new column. You can add as many columns as you want. And resizing the columns is incredibly easy. You can get a grid view by enabling this option, and this is really helpful when you try to balance out your layout. Now let's assign widget instance to a column. Here are all the created widget instances in your store. You can select any one you want to display in the column. Well done. Let's add another instance to the column. Hit the button to edit our new widget instance quickly. Change the settings. Save and we're done. And do the same to create other blocks and you'll soon have a complete layout that can look like this. You can change the order of the widgets inside a block or you can move it to any other block in the layout. And you can also change the order of the blocks in the layout. Just drag and drop. Oh, and one more thing. You can configure this layout to be responsive across all devices. Simply select the device here and configure for the layout display for the device. Now that everything is working properly, let's go save the layout. And the next step is to publish the layout to the front end. There are two ways to do this. You could go to System, Design, and Layouts. And here you can edit any layout or create a new one. For this tutorial, let's customize the home layout. Here are the default modules used in the home layout. And let's add a new module assign the layout we built in the Layout Builder, and now save the settings. If you were using Pavo Themes, you can also manage the layout using the powerful Theme Control Panel. You'll find this in Extensions and Modules. Scroll down and there it is, the Theme Control Module. Open up its Configuration Panel and all we have to do is simply open the layouts management, drag and drop the layout we built in the layout builder to the position in the layout that we want it to appear, and then save the setting. And we're done. Let's check the front page. Man, that really looks great. 
And this also brings me to the end of this video overview. For more details, check it out at pavothemes.com forward slash theme dash features. Thanks for watching.